F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, fam? Welcome back to F double R Friend Request Reviews. I'm Formal. And I'm Brolic. And today, you already know it's a beautiful day. It is Power Day after a two, two and a half, three week break that they really put us on. There's only three things I want to know, so I'm not even going to hold y'all up. I want to know how Tariq getting out of jail. I want to know how Monet going to deal with the news that all her kids was doing all that shady stuff behind her back, plus seeing Lorenzo out of jail. And I want to know what the hell Mecca and Lorenzo are going to do when they find out about each other, if they find out about each other. Mm. So, how you feeling over there, Broly? What you excited to see today? Man, I'm... I'm really excited just to see what Lorenzo's, how he's going to move on this chessboard. You know, he's actually a player now on the board. So mm -hmm. I'm just curious to see how he's going to maneuver in this in this landfill of, of power. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm really intrigued and curious to see how it's going to play out. Definitely, definitely. Hopefully, curiosity does not kill the cat. But that's all my peoples, my folks, my fam. That's all I want to see. That's all Brolic want to see. Y'all make sure y'all comment down below while y'all was waiting these three weeks. What were y'all most excited about, anticipating to see on this episode of Power? Again, this is FRR Friend Request Reviews. We are bringing you Power Book 2 Ghost Season 2, Episode 6 what's free so do not forget to like go ahead and drop some comments and most importantly don't forget to subscribe our goal is 1k subscribers so go ahead click that button click that bell and get notified when we go live let's go let's get it it's about time man we've been waiting for this one you already know it's power day power day what's free what's free what's free what's free <laughs> Got a couple people that need to go carry, carry, <laughs> carry specifically. <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> like, what they talking about? Oh, he got and the he boys. Got the boys home already. <laughs> Back to the oh, the mamacita yeah. is already there. Welcome home and look who front and center, right over daddy's shoulder. Had a little girl mm -hmm. like you pay for a lawyer. I know how to hustle. I got bread. Damn, Renzo. You mean you, you know how to boss. steal? <laughs> Only Monet know. Look how she looking. Yo. She hurt. Ooh, she is I hurt. can't wait till she bring that up. <laughs> Everybody there. Look at look. Monet in the back, though. She's just staring at Every him. Every scene. <laughs> Every scene. She's yeah. just in the back looking hurt. Bullshit. Mm. What are you running for? Mm. Broad Street Killers. I heard the feds did a sweep of BSK. Got almost everybody. Now mm. I'm in charge until the big homie gets out. <sighs> the same BSK niggas I had to protect you from in prison. That's who you choose to roll with when you're free. I gotta run my own thing, Renzo. Looks like you already know who you want riding shotgun. Facts. Mm. How about you? Feelings hurt? Yeah, it seems so. Seems like Lorenzo B and O ain't ain't all happy for everyone. Diana belongs in the classroom and boardrooms, not the fucking block. <laughs> and I think Kane, as long as the streets respect him or fear him, whatever, he'll be happy with his position. Choose yep. the one. He's exactly. the best of both. Exact see? Smartness of Diane. Yep. Savage of Kane, like streets. Drew's got a weakness you don't know about. You better talk mm. to him. Make sure he oh, chooses he what's good for the know. family rather than his heart. He does I peeped know. him last night. I saw him scoping one of them ball players that gave me a musique. I know who he is. <laughs> see? <laughs> see? I seen him. I seen him saying. He know. He know he's sweet, man. Forgive our client, Your Honor. Based on his criminal activity, we believe Mr. St. Patrick has access to funds and is a tremendous flight risk. He has extensive yeah. ties to the community, Your Honor. He has no access to funds. Literally no, no one showed up for him today? Your Honor, we Damn. request for man. Your Honor, if I may. <laughs> so much as no one showed up for him. Can you speak to me? 
and I'll take it from there. Exactly. <clears throat> I knew it. He's going to need tape, man. Okay. Tate might be the that's player. That's my biggest. That's my biggest guess is that Tate is the play. Uh huh. Well, he told you to steal from me too. No, I did what I had to do to bring our family together. What you should be doing is thanking me for bringing him home. I killed mm. the man for that money, Diana, and I ain't tell you to do that. <laughs> Damn! Out of the house. Out the house. Damn. Damn. Gara. She is, uh... Like I said, I want to know how she's dealing with this information. She is not <laughs> doing very well. Yep. And um, her power slipping out of her hands, too, so. Oh, hell yeah. You know she, she went from number one to number five. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed yeah, to stop man. because he's home. I think you uh -oh. should tell him you're moving on, and so should he. Look, uh -oh. I don't know what to do. Just give me some time to figure this shit out. I got three kids by the man, Dante. And you have one by me who deserves the truth. Mm. I want to meet my son. Still hasn't, still like. We can use the white boy, Braden. He can run the store. The same white boy you kidnapped. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have raised all that money we needed for Zeke's lawyer when we needed it. Listen, Braden hit licks with me. He did what I said when I said it. I could play that little nigga like cards. You lost your mm. mind. He knows this shit, he loves it. I'm telling you. He do love it, though. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Shit, he about to no. meet Monet? Oh, shit. Man, you feel me? That boy Braden, he out here, man. He coming up, bro. He... <laughs> to the east side. I still haven't received any dirt on Sweeney yet, so what the hell we need to talk about, huh? Ready for his two When I get days. out, my priority will be getting you what you need. Nigga, I've been waiting for that the whole time. What the fuck you think I'm doing at that school, huh? <laughs> there there goes Tate. He brought up his old college frat glory bullshit. Saw his secret photo album, and I hope you get your hands on that. <laughs> there we go, Tariq. So we got yep. Tate in the bag, but... I always what knew does, it, man. Tate, Tate what, the player, man. What does Tate got to do, though, in order to help him out? You will not just be ordering me around like I'm one of the kids. When I went to prison, I never stopped being head of the household. We strategize together first. Right. When I was inside, go shopping. Hit the app. Enjoy yourself. Get yourself something nice. See, this is what I mean. This is what I wanted to see. How Lorenzo was gonna move. And I'm loving every we second. Ain't really, we ain't really seeing much yet, though. He just out here talking right now. Bro, he. What nah, he doing? He what moves. he doing? He's trying to make. What moves. he doing, man? Exactly. He's he, trying to. Listen, he's giving orders to people who thought they had power. This. And he's letting them know, listen, you ain't got no more power, I got all of But I am a BIPOC ally, so the cycle can stop with me. You is released Mr. St. Patrick on a 10% bail bond. You'll still be required to wear an ankle monitor. <laughs> hey, bail is yeah. set $1 million. My boy said, I'm a BIPOC ally, so that stops here. <laughs> and it just straight up went to work. Mm-hmm. Tay in the background with his suit, looking clean. Feel me? I just want to see the young brother Tariq get a fair fight. Is that so bad? I mean, we all deserve that. Yeah, put put up that that bro, Tate Tate that Tate little Tate's persona. book gonna be crazy, bro. Yeah, Tate is, Tate book gonna be wild. He's bro. a good actor, man. I think so. Hell yeah, that's my yeah. boy, man. That's, that's yeah. my boy Frankie Lyman right there. Man. He's a he's a great actor, <laughs> man. They they cast the right people for this for this show. Yeah, exactly. you dumbass. Go be a prosecutor again. Go yeah. be with your girl. Mama. Go jump off the top of this building. How about that? Found her location. She's in New Mexico. Where's that? Hey. Requesting to speak with Tariq. Mm. Oh, his talk with Tasha can wait. Wow. They're going to really play this card, though. You know that boy Shady? Yeah. You know Davis is Shady? Well, Sadik's been Shady. Yeah. So it don't even matter. Started mm -hmm. with fun. I'm the one paying for that shit, bro. Two murders. Okay, I'm sorry, but you can't put all the blame Dang, on me. There we go. If I knew what was going on, I would have been able to protect you, but you never fucking tell me anything. Well, I always told you what you needed to know. Always. I mean, there what the go, fuck go, you go, Ghost and Tommy. <laughs> ghost. Definitely right Ghost. There. Definitely Ghost. <clears throat> I'll tell you what you need to know. That's Ghost all day. You really gonna mm. like just like you, okay? He I'm tired of you putting your fucking problems on everyone else. 
It don't matter. The point is the same. He Tariq could have been living a privileged life, just like Brayden. Like mm -hmm. he didn't have to get in the streets ever. Someone that stands. I figured I repurposed my white privilege. Did you help Kane raise that cop's body, and did you plant that bad in Tariq's dorm? I don't know why Kane tricked me into it, but I guess we're all in a worse situation now. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay, with just nah. You uh, did. Nah. <laughs> you did with that now. Nah. Tariq was a suspect in the investigation. I didn't know he was an option until I helped you off those drug charges. Look at her. She feeling high and mighty that she helped Tariq get bagged. Like, she been wearing that confidence a lot. You didn't want mommy and daddy to find out that you got caught with drugs in your room. You made your choices. And you didn't worry wow. about that. Why? Oh, because you were too busy fucking Zeke? Mm. Zeke, you're fucking him. Mm. Don't play with me. Oh, Let's back the fuck up. You feel me? She she been different since she got my boy convicted. Yeah, this episode she been moving different. She gonna move her ass right into a bullet. Right here. <laughs> Stop it. Look at Monet. <laughs> Yo, Monet never smiles, bro. Mary J. Blige don't never show her teeth in this damn show, bro. I feel bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna celebrate to that. Wanna, man, just wanna dance with his moms. She didn't say love you. We can't back. continue to do this. You said we didn't <laughs> she have to, stop. to go break up. And you stay away from me. It's over. Definitely it ain't over once you find out he to connect. Just burnt out on these last ten years, that's all. Well if she never gave up, <laughs> why does she yeah, have Lorenzo an exit plan that family. doesn't include you? What plan? Mm. Damn. Damn. Immediately. Oh, what's to Drew? Man, he went to Drew about it. His right hand. I remember the kid that died in the pool. Yeah. Kane sent that kid up here to kill him. Someone named Two Bit that used to run with my uncle who killed the GTG kid. I was being extorted by Two Bit at the time. You would have came and violated your ass too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I wouldn't have been wild, but they mentioning him. Uh, yeah, but where is They're, he? They starting to mention him a little more. And you know if he pops up in one of the recaps, then it's over. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> Gotta protect ourselves. I need you to get closer to Kane so that nigga don't catch us off guard again. I can do that. Also, um, mm. he know he know how he gotta you move. Can get your hands on your father's photo album from college. Mm. Something you might be able to help me with my case. Let's go. Yes. You know, Brady, yes. he loyal to the game. Chess moves are yeah. moving. Chess pieces are moving. Effie and Braden. Ooh. Effie's the perfect solution. So it's not Diana. Hey, it's Effie. That's the Tasha, right. bro. That's Ghost Tasha and Tommy nah, right there. It's not. Yes. It's still yes, Diana. It is, bro. Nah, bro. Yes, it's bro. Nah, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all at least <laughs> look. She loved when he when he called her that. We can at least Clyde. agree to who Angie is, and that's Lauren. Lauren, of course, of course, and we could agree to who Tommy is too. That's of course, definitely Brady. Yeah. Ain't no other white people in the show but Sex. <laughs> like, <laughs> and he definitely ain't Tommy. Who's your friend, Tariq? That's Effie. Hmm. We got some shit to straighten out before we move forward. How am I supposed to trust you? You got me locked up when I told you the truth about Kane. Tariq, I know how this looks. But I need you to know I had no part in it. You snitch, I shoot. You shoot, I slaughter. Mm. Yeah, I don't mm. say shit about Kane, but... You snitch, I shoot. You shoot, I slaughter. I understand. Sweetie, you signed the paperwork. It's a part of your deal. Mmm. But... Is Sax gonna take this conversation back to Davis? Good night. She said life lesson, though. <laughs> Lauren, you better walk away. I'm like, life lessons. Uh, I ain't talking. Y'all just Period. lost. You feel exactly. Like, yeah. I ain't appearing, nothing, nothing, none of that. I'm about to get my parents involved. Like, what are you talking about? Mm hmm. He's just watching C. Like, you feel me? He want to meet his son. I feel like. you, but she is right, man. <clears throat> like, wait for the right time. What? He what needs, the fuck is the right time? He needs to focus on getting into no, the league. With first. Monet, it'll never be the right time, bro. 
Monet won everything her way, bro. It'll never be the right time for her. Once he get into the league, then you can do it. He's already there. That's Monet talking. She even got you talking like her. Shut your ass <laughs> off. That's the power of Monet. <laughs> See? If they look at that. See Tasha, bro. They getting closer and closer. It ain't Diana, bro. It's Effie, bro. Because Effie's smart, too. She book smart, too. She like the choke, bro. But, like, come but on. she, the reason I, I say it's more Diana is because Effie fucked them over the first season. Right where you belong. Tasha always <laughs> fuck Ghost over. Like, what you mean? Towards the end. Niggas had the most toxic. What? They, the brother, first episode, she was in there fingering herself in front of her freaking limo job. Look at You're burning it. You're burning it. What? Oh, my God. God, bruh, no, that was the worst ending ever, bruh. Oh my God, come on. All right, so there you have it, Power. Book two, Ghost, season two, episode six, What's Free? We could say Therese Free, for now at least, until child comes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, thank you for that. Just as we expected, or at least as I expected, you I figured did. Tate was going to be a... a a pretty big player out there to to help Tariq out, um, which he he definitely was. He stepped up, got that judge out there, the, the BIPOC ally judge out there to mm -hmm. change his tone and set some bail to get my boy Tariq out there back onto the Stansfield playing field. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful there. Uh, how you feeling? How you feeling about today's episode? What what we want to dive into first? Well, first of all, I just think the episode was it was it was a great episode, man. Um, the, whoever whoever's writing these shows is doing a great job phenomenal writing all around acting is pretty you know pretty good decent you know for some some better than others but um mm -hmm. yeah man <laughs> <laughs> yeah but this episode is exactly what i wanted i wanted to see how lorenzo was gonna move on the you know on the chess on the chessboard and he didn't disappoint at all like he he came in and did exactly what I thought he was gonna do, assert his dominance. Like, listen, I'm I'm back home and I'm the man in charge, and y'all gonna have to follow. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. Monet's in the back burner, like you said. Monet's not even second no more. She's pretty much man. like she after all the kids, Ooh, it's her. Fifth, yeah. So she lied. yeah, man. That it, I mean, I I don't have a clear vision of where the show's going, which is great because I feel like some shows. Uh, you know, you kind of have a vision of what what's to come. <clears throat> this show mm -hmm. doesn't do that. I mean, at least this season doesn't do that. And yeah, so far, man, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing from Lorenzo. I mean, that's what I really wanted to see coming in, and I I think they're doing a great job now. This next episode is going to be interesting because Mech Mecca um finally agreed to meeting him, so. Mm -hmm. that's gonna be what I'm most excited to see come in the next episode if if it happens the next episode yeah and and to, to even touch on that it, mm -hmm. it'll be really interesting to see where Mecca even wants to take things now because mm -hmm. at the end of the day Mecca never really needed Monet um, of course not in terms yeah like he didn't need he didn't need to become her connect to to like make money like it seemed like he already had whatever he had going on established like the man got a hanger got jets all types of cars all types of loyal freaking friends and family like mm -hmm. so it's not like like he really needs to be their plug yep so if if like the whole thing with monet not wanting to deal with him and just trying to stay with lorenzo and the family affects mecca negatively and he gets all emotional and decides to cut you know cut things off he could he technically could do that without it hurting and he has like firepower to kind of go to war with lorenzo so that's like i'm yeah i'm with you i'm interested like what is that meeting gonna entail like what's what's gonna kick off from that meeting like is mecca just gonna stand up and just be like yo i'm here to take your bitch like what it is like or like ain't no telling ain't no telling what that meeting gonna be about like yeah he, he 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 in a bad spot he he wanted his girl and She's not trying to give him her his chance, and she's not trying to let him meet his son neither. So, in my opinion, he he he's a a, a wild card. Like <laughs> this episode kind of 
it popped off. Like they showed us a little bit of everybody this episode. Everybody. We seen <clears throat> another thing that I said that I wanted to see in this episode was how Monet is gonna deal with the information that Tariq gave her, and we saw that she freaking one, one choked out Diana's yep. ass. Uh, we saw we saw her with Drews and two like she told Drews dude like when oh, yeah, wants yeah, you yeah, here yeah, like yeah, yeah. not welcome. Yeah, like if anything, the only one she didn't really press. Well, nah, she pressed Kane as well. Like, but that that was her and Kane go through it all the time. Like that's that's always that's she normal. always pressing Kane about something that he do. Like mm -hmm. so she 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 did press all three of them out about the things that Tariq told him about. Um, Obviously, she pressed so, Diana the most. Like literally I choked mean, her in the bathroom. Come on now. Yeah, choked her. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Monet really had her choke the hell up. Monet is crazy. Cause she hurt, bro. She in the back, bro. Monet mm -hmm. is crazy, but she really is. She really in a crazy spot too, though. If you really think about it, like, like, like I said, she had Mecca right there trying to give her her freedom, mm -hmm. her independence, and now she under Lorenzo's foot again, and she don't really know what to do. She went back to Dante and told him, "I don't want to be with you no more. Like this, this, this is over. Like, and you can't see Zeke. Like, so." Her mind is is all messed up. I don't think she really. I think she's gonna make a bad move. I don't know what the move's gonna be, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna be good. Like it's gonna, she gonna make a move, a type of move that that Kane be making. That should be mad at Kane for making all the time. Like, uh, you think so? Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. She gonna do something stupid, bro. It don't it don't matter who is who's gonna capitalize off of it, but she's gonna do something real stupid, and somebody gonna capitalize off that shit, bro. She her mind not in the right place, bro. You choking out your daughter and stuff. You telling Kane to remain independent with you, like you mm -hmm. you basically putting a wedge in, into the family. family. Like bro. at the end of the day, bro. Like Lorenzo, whether you like him or not, like you could can, you can't be mad at how he's put, putting himself back into you know the head of the household like you know what i'm saying like i see where he coming from like he told monet like you had 10 years running the game like i want you to s it's not even like i want you to be under me it's just like i want you to retire like i want you to be good like you're done you don't got to play with the streets no more yeah same thing with diane i want you to go to school and get book smart you don't even got to play with the streets no more really it's lorenzo drew and kane that's gonna be doing all that like at the end of the day like i feel you but so, once you get once you get someone power to remove that power is i don't think it's that easy you know what i'm saying especially, of course that's especially the point once, that's the point yeah, that i'm trying to make yeah, like yeah, yeah. she's yeah. she in a terrible spot like she once you get a taste she of don't that, know what the hell to do ain't no way you can go back like you know what i'm saying how can you go hell back nah. after being a boss for 10 years you can't you can't you can't so that's like, yeah i don't know how Damn, she is in the tough spot right now. Bro, I'm telling you, she gonna make a bad decision, bro. She's gonna be make right. a bad, bad choice, bro. She already, she already, her, her head is, is spinning right now, bro. Ain't no way her thoughts is. She probably hearing a hundred different Monets talking in her head at once <laughs> right now, like trying to tell her what the hell to do, bro. Uh, she really went and choked out her daughter, like come on, man. But let's see what else happened. What else? Tariq. So Tariq's out. Tariq's right? out. We he had got his his ankle monitor. Yeah, we had um. I think we had a good interaction between him and Braden that episode. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, saw I think the ghost Braden, of Tommy and them. I think Braden. Yeah, Braden had some good. Um, just some good scenes, like you know, they they just talk it out pretty much the entire time, except you know, apart from the meeting and shit. But yeah, that I think that's. What they needed to do, well, what Tariq needed yep. to do was to actually tell him the full truth, the whole truth, nothing but mm -hmm. the truth. And, you know, but like you said, is he going to continue to bring him in or is he going to continue exactly. doing the ghost, the ghost, the ghost thing, you know, <laughs> which is because Ghost and Tommy did the same thing, Ghost to tell him. And then you think that they were going to continue on that path and nah, bro, Ghost, that's that's Ghost number one attribute where he was just he would tell you what you what he wanted you to know but not the it, it mm -hmm. wouldn't be the full truth so like mm -hmm. the ghost was known for that so it's just <laughs> it's just funny that Tariq has that trait that his father has that he's known for um Tariq has a lot of traits that oh his my father God. has which oh. is which is ironic yeah because he hates him so much so. <laughs> And, it, and he's that's why it's like oh God. ghost 2.0 so much like. yeah and let's not even dive in on the whole ghost is still alive theory i'm not i mean i'm not even gonna get into that i'm gonna just stick to the episode but um, um 
uh, mm-hmm. the, the the person walking around with the most confidence in this ep- episode, man. I can't believe she has the audacity to be Professor Milgram. Come on, man. She out here, bro, going to go. a week of the, the bus in, in front of all the students, bro. Yeah, like, she gotta go. Bro, she 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 out here reckless, bro. And but the thing about it is like she being reckless in front of the students and in front of Lauren, so there's real no consequences for her confidence and, and, and the way she's acting right now. So I mean I don't see her, you know, getting into any trouble unless Lauren tells Tariq, Hey, I was rocking this rods. You know, and Carrie was, you know, then I think it might escalate. But right now, she she has every right to be confident. She she thought she she got the right person, which she does. But she done. I can't wait. Who can't you wait? Matter of fact, let's 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 predict who's gonna do it. Who's gonna do How it? How about that? Yeah. Um, I still think it's gonna be Monet. You still think it's gonna be Monet? It, it, I, yeah. I would I would second that, but just to throw someone else out there, I would say. It'll be a wild like turn of events if like one of the other female characters got her like Effie or Diana or maybe even Lauren. Or leave it Lauren. Yeah, I knew you, know you was gonna saying? try to like, No <laughs> bro. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. Brolic thing Lauren gonna Nah, kill I said Aaron, I bro. said I said listen, I just said <laughs> there's a possibility that the other female cast might do it, but he want to be surprised. He want to be real shocked. Like, like oh shit, that's on. who's doing it. Because if Monet do it, it is gonna be kind of like okay. It's like, Monet doing Monet that, things. But... Like you know what I'm saying? We expect yeah. that. So I don't but know. But I still feel like she owes it to her though. Like I she, agree. she owes it I to agree. her for fucking Zeke. She also, and I also think it would be ironic because remember Monet told her like find out who really killed the professor. Like. Mm-hmm. So like mm. and she went and kind of did that like mm-hmm. so it would be ironic for her to come back and be like yeah you know I found out it was Tariq and she'd be like well <laughs> nobody <laughs> told you to do. like you feel me <laughs> like we needed him we needed course correct like <laughs> just light her ass up right there like so I think that would be ironic but yeah she was she was exuding some straight queen confidence this episode mm. she even they even did her makeup different on this one I was like god damn <laughs> freaking that was crazy but um. Oh, about to sneeze. All right, keep that back. Let it go. Oh, we go. All right. Um, and then I think probably one of the most important developments that we kind of already saw coming as well is Drew getting set up for that second man seat. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like everything that we've been saying too about Drew was also just kind of repeated in this episode by yep. Lorenzo himself, like. The smartness exactly. of Diana, the savageness of Kane, like, yep. and that he also knew, knows that he's gay too, and doesn't seem to affect him at all. So I don't think anyone really, um, well, I, let me not say that. Let me not say anyone really cares. I feel like Kane, you know, Kane is hurt by Drew yeah. being that second man, and I also think that Lorenzo kind of foreshadowed a little bit as well when he was just like, when? "All eyes are gonna be on you," you know, like now that you're gonna be second man, especially like even even that um that Kino dude that they're gonna take out like mm-hmm. even people like that are like people that I feel like Lorenzo was talking about like all eyes are gonna be on you you know what I'm saying like because we're gonna step you up and put you right yeah. there and in w- that second man and position. what Kino said oh you, you already have someone in mind for the second in command so like mm-hmm. and then dipped exactly. off That's, like he was tight like, exactly so I was just like you feel me yeah. and trying to go do his own thing mm-hmm. you feel exactly see exactly you caught that <laughs> bro what? I'm telling you man I just <laughs> I don't know what I just quickly real quick I just love how titles called power and everybody's just kind of struggling with power with power yeah and just, I just I just love how the title and then the titles for the for the episodes be really 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 good like once again the writing for this show is phenomenal I think it's it's, yeah. just, it's great this episode especially mm-hmm. was beautiful they they did little callbacks to other like when Lorenzo said what he said to Kane like that was very oh, similar yep. to what Kane said to his mm-hmm. mom like yep. there was a lot of real nice callbacks there like mm-hmm. how Brayden what Brayden said to Tariq and then what Effie ended up saying to Tariq as well like that all just tied beautifully like mm-hmm. yeah this, this I feel like I could talk about this episode even longer like I think it was a really good 
Like I don't mind. I mean, I do mind waiting three weeks. Nah, shit. it was nah, it was, it was so solid. Like, it was so long for the wait. Yeah, two, to, three weeks is too. The the, the, the mid season finale thing that Power's been doing because they've been they did this last book too. Like oh, like towards the end. But I got like, it, I got it from the horse's mouth. This is not the writer's decision. This is the stars. This is their decision to do a mid, you know, like mid break. I think. I'm pretty interested in just I would say like right now I'm really interested in the trajectory of the story like mm -hmm. because there's so much there's just so much like distrust right now like one thing about power there's always distrust going on but like I feel like the beginning of the season it was like the Tejadas and like Tariq and his crew mm -hmm. and now it's like half of the Tejadas with versus the other half, half of the Tarotas yeah. versus Tariq. Tariq's crew yep. and then like Mecca's out there the wild card <laughs> and then like Tate and Tate's kind of doing his own thing but then like Sax and Davis are still wild cards as well because Davis is trying to Sax. Like, I don't even know what his brother's development story going to be like you know what I'm saying like we're halfway through the freaking season and I still don't know what that's about I feel, I feel so, like, like those people are all wild cards I feel like the Davis and his brother thing is going to come up towards the end of the season and be like a, mm -hmm. some type of big reveal so I feel like they're just kind of like drizzling a little bit of their story mm -hmm. just to kind of pay off later on in the season but Sax I don't know I like I'm conflicted with Sax, like, cause I, you know, obviously, oh man, he like doing some good things. Out no, there, like, huh? yeah, like <laughs> he's he's a good player to have right mm -hmm. now. But is he gonna yeah. slip up and, and go back to his old ways? To is prosecution, the big yeah, is, is the big question. Yeah. There. So it's just like, it is. what's what Sax are we gonna really see here? You know, but I, I after seeing that encounter with um Lauren and and her lawyer with um not the lawyer the prosecutor and mm -hmm. and sack you know kind of hearing Sacks. the conversation mm -hmm. i feel like he's gonna end up doing the right thing and helping out Tariq with this even though he knows that Tariq killed at least uh ray from you know from book one so i, I but you know i'm conflicted because i i hate yeah, sax because we all yeah we all want sax <laughs> you know I we, hate he, he should have been dead in book one like, but i yeah. think he's he's a key player to kind of get in to read where he needs to be you know at least you know you know with the whole case going on uh, so yeah i guess i guess a uh, 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 easy generic response to that would be well, I guess that means that his character was written very well. And we're supposed <laughs> to hate him, right? Like, you know, how people be. Well, no, that's I, I true. That I, I agree. Time. Like, I agree with you. Super conflicted. Like, mm -hmm. he's someone that we wanted dead back in book one, mm -hmm. and now he's on the opposite side. He's no longer a prosecutor. He's mm -hmm. a defender, yep. and he still has his prosecutor ways, but he's also has his snake oil skin ways, mm -hmm. and that's really been helping us out. At least on the Tariq side, yeah. we all know we're villains when we watch shows like this. We're all on the bad guys team, so we want Tariq <laughs> to win and all that. It's <laughs> like, crazy that like a lot of shows that we watch, uh, other than like Cobra Kai, um, the protagonist is the bad guy. Unfortunately, it is what it is. And, you know, you we vote just, for him. yeah, we gotta just root for the bad guy. I'm sorry, yeah, but it's just it is what it is. <laughs> Facts. Um, but what else? What else? I think overall, I really enjoyed that they showed damn near every character mm -hmm. like, of, in this episode. They After did. three weeks, we yeah, we pretty much got a feel of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, everybody had their voice. Like we said, great dialogue this episode. Um, I, I almost feel like I could just still just bring up stuff, but I don't want to <laughs> hold y'all for too long. So is there any any final thoughts? Anything else? Um, just final thoughts is it? that um, I think <clears throat> Tate is, is coming towards the tail end of his involvement in this now that Tariq mm -hmm. is getting the the photos the yeah so oh, yep. I feel like Tate is going to be a person that's no longer going to really be in the show after that mm. because I feel like that's that's the main reason he was here for to get the mm -hmm. dirt and now that he has the dirt and he can continue him to his ex book. exactly so I feel yeah, like he's going to be true. a character out of out of very soon and yeah man I'm just, you know that, that, that interaction with Lauren was just hilarious like you know, I'm done with you. Don't forget to give me the keys. <laughs> Man, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like, 
<laughs> like, straight that up. That shit had me dying. That shit had me dying, though. Because he, you know, he asserted his dominance. They're like, listen, I don't give a fuck. I'm still standing he in was, the apartment. Though. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. I enjoyed that. That episode. boy going through a double homie, man. He... I think I'm good, man. I, I really enjoyed that episode. I'm going to score it a 9 out of 10, to be honest. Okay. I'm going to just throw that straight out. 9 out of 10 for me. The uh, ending was flat as hell, but I love I think that whole I, episode, and it got me thinking a lot about what's going to happen next. I think that's what brought it down a little bit for me, is the ending. Um, I, I give it an 8.5. Like, 8.5 over there. Nah, he's always on my right side. Over there. Mm-hmm. 8.5 over there. 9 over here. <laughs> The power verse, we love it. Three weeks was too long, but thank you for a beautiful episode. Great dialogue, great mm-hmm. acting, great characters, great setup. Plot is everywhere. You know how power do with us. It got me thinking about the side books and everything. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed seeing us as much as we enjoyed seeing you. We love you, FRR fan, friend, friends, friends, friend request reviews. Don't forget to like comment subscribe our goal is 1k subscribers so go ahead click that button click that bell and get notified when we go live FRR out peace, peace.